Good afternoon, everyone. Let me introduce myself. I am Robot Espion, but you can call me Jerry. I live here at the BRL. BRL is the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, the largest facility of its kind in the UK. For the past four years, BRL has been directing the CRIS project. The goal of this project is to answer the question, can humans and robots cooperate together safely? If you want robots to work in the, sh in the same shared workplace, but for example, if you want a robot uh, as, a, 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 as an assistant in a, um, perhaps in nursing, or care for the, for, uh, for the elderly, then those robots have to be up close and personal, that they're actually operating in the same space that you are, and therefore we have to make sure that they are safe working in that, in that space. Making a robot that can understand humans using language, gestures, or even facial expressions is hugely complex and requires the attention of a range of specialists in many different disciplines. You need to have ideas from the way that humans actually uh, interact, the way that humans develop. Uh, the psychology of, uh, of cooperation and of course then you need to bring together the uh, mechanical systems and the electronic systems and the computing uh, uh, information systems as well. Here at BRL, as well as coordinating the project, they've specialized in non-verbal communication, exchanging information with robots through pointing and looking. The project also brought in one of the most advanced humanoid robots on the planet, the iCub, which is designed and built at the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa. We've been working on human-robot interaction and this fundamental skill for um, having a robot that can in interact and uh, learn through this interaction. At my institute in Lyon, we've developed the iCub's ability to use language so that it can communicate and negotiate how to cooperate with humans. Put the box on the drum. I will put the box on the drum. At the last laboratory of the French National Center for Scientific Research in Toulouse, the team has been investigating what robots can learn about the real world, the people and things that surround them. Our contribution is essentially in, in the decisional aspect of the robot. We place ourselves from the robot point of view and we try to build knowledge that the robot will use in order to interact fluently and efficiently with the human. And at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany, they've been studying how human children learn to cooperate so that we can develop the same capabilities in our robots. My research is concerned with the question of cooperation, namely behaviors like helping and cooperative problem solving. Okay. We focus on young children because we are interested in the starting state. So what are the skills that young children are already equipped with, which then allow the children to acquire knowledge and develop new skills over time. The goal of the CRIS project is to understand this amazing human ability to cooperate and then to build this directly into humanoid robots. We've got used to seeing robots in factories, but in the 21st century, robots will increasingly be living among us. We'll want them to do things for us. They'll be alongside us. We need them to understand us so they can cooperate with us. These robots are becoming more and more capable of human-like cooperation. They can take the perspective of the human. They can change places with the human. They can learn new shared plans on the fly. All this allows them to truly cooperate. We are trying, with the help of the, of the other partners, to categorize some basic ingredients, some basic bricks with which we'll build these future robots. The part of Chris that is, uh, strikes most, if you see the, the demos we can do, uh, is the fact that um, we can really teach the robot new actions and new objects uh, on the fly. Basically, um, the robot knows nothing at the beginning, and you can go there, show a new object, and the, uh, the robot learns the new object and can then 
recognize it visually. And, uh, and this is because of the interaction with people. The person is really helping the robot to learn, a bit like uh, parents with children. I think it's a humbling experience when you look at what a, a small child, an 18-month toddler, is able to do, and the difference between that capability and what a, a robot to do. So we've certainly learned to be humble. At the outset of the CRIS project, we saw this amazing ability of human children to cooperate, but we were a long way from having that in our robots. But through the project, through the development of the capability for shared planning and perspective taking, we've now come a long way towards making human-robot cooperation a reality.